Well, it is kind of insane how quick I lose faith in a song every time after I upload it. Oi, by the way, this is a song talk video with some random Call of Duty gameplay in the background, which I've chosen myself, which I've played myself, because I have so much Call of Duty Vanguard gameplay and Warzone gameplay that I just didn't use on the channel. Right now I'm doing better with Overwatch, where I just throw non-commentary non gameplay over it when I'm playing with mates, and mostly those gameplays were recorded with mates. Also in the background somebody is working in their garden, I don't know, with a chainsaw or something like that, so you might hear that also. Well, but song talk, no, I get the boat. And what I mean is when I finish mastering working on a song and uploading it immediately, the first thing you get with a newly uploaded song from an unknown artist like myself, who does everything as self-mastering mixing, normally send your mix to a mastering engineer and he masters the song for you, gives it the final touch, uh, make sure that uh, makes sure that a second ear listens over it because listening to your own voice is torturous in its own way. So mostly when I upload a song which takes mostly hours because you need to write down the lyrics and upload on different platforms which are musical platforms like SoundCloud and Bandcamp which might get you two listeners to the song and mostly bots trying to <laughs> yeah scam you into a business deal which is also quite depressing first time I uploaded on Instagram for example a song I got five websites immediately or five Instagram sites Instagram channels whatever trying to um, tell me that I can put my song on their Instagram stories marketed there which are fake Instagram sites with fake bots on them that give you fake views where you can buy uh, oh you can put your song for two days on that post on that site and then get uh, 10,000 views or something like that which are all bots mostly and scam sites yeah stuff like that that's kind of not good for the ego because the first thing you get on instagram are five posts like that with music immediately and um after one second after uploading that where they don't even listen to your song where you see one play and five people posting that you can post it on their site i don't know if i'm gonna show you a picture on that or something one day i uh, was uploading a shrek stray mod with a meme thumbnail onto instagram so i can link people to my site as a marketing strategy and uh instagram some site just um kind of don't know why i can don't know why but they thought it's a fitness ad for fitness video and they have written me that i can put my shrek meme fun there on their fitness site because they thought it's a fitness video for some reason i don't know i don't know instagram that's why i'm taking an instagram break right now it's just bots everywhere bots and one stalker don't know how that happened yeah no i get the boat it's uh, pretty much uh for me personally an emotional song deep that connects deep with me with some personal stuff in it from a depression phase in the second lockdown that's pretty much what the song is about also the youtube channel mxr and the noah get the boat reddit side which i've also done some content of on my channel i know from that reddit side or i know that this exists this reddit side from the mxr place channel they did some content back in the days on that and uh, while they were doing those videos and while they were, I was watching those videos kind of the refer lyrics just popped into my head and I got, got to repeat that over and over started writing down the refer lyrics and then in the lockdown phase while I had a depression phase I wrote down the rest of the rap verse lyrics 
that's pretty much how this song happened. So, the rap lyrics. I was in lockdown, second lockdown phase, which was like five months. I was working on my music, wasn't doing YouTube back then, just working on my music daily. Being at home all alone, a single. And I was trying to record every day some rap verses and some song parts. And uh, yeah, that kinda killed my voice, strained my voice. And then I lost my voice for like one month, one week where I couldn't record anything and was just sick for one month but I just tried to record some music, get myself better in that direction but my voice was dead, I couldn't record, I was sick, I was coughing, it was not corona I didn't have corona but I was sick for one month and um, the big problem back then was my radiator in my room behind me it just made too much noise it was so loud for holding throughout the whole night that i couldn't sleep and therefore i opened the window played some music in the background so that my radio noises radiator noises aren't that loud and because my window was open in the middle of the night so the radiator radiator is more silent i got sick because of that pretty much and the radiator wouldn't shut up most of the time which First of all, killed my recording sessions. They just sounded bad because of the loud radiator noises. And second of all, killed my sleep too. So um, depression settled in pretty strongly. I had one shitty night in that shitty week, in that shitty month, where I just couldn't sleep with no voice, couldn't talk, where I just went down and uh, wrote those lyrics, um, which got changed a little bit later on. Because I rewrite a few days after, a few months or weeks after, so it makes all sense and sounds coherent. But that's pretty much where the lyrics ori originated, got written down in that shitty night, I would call it. Ah, uh, what's the lyrics? I forget my own lyrics mostly, because I've written down so much. I've written down four albums already mostly. Well, well. Working on that stuff alone is pretty hard and also doing YouTube by the time takes too much time away so that's why songs get pushed out that slowly also it's hard on myself to listen through my own voice that's why I also made a song called I Hate My Voice it's already released on my channel yeah um Sitting here in my worn out apartment room, it will be my tomb. Makes me want to live in a cloud, it sucks to be poor and live cheap. Won't even help to count sheep, a phone stuck so deep. Let me pull it out. And so on, suicidal thoughts in these nights were struggled the most. That's pretty much that night I wrote those lyrics in. Shitty night. Shitty night for sure. There are definitely a lot of depression songs and lyrics coming up in the future from those times, the lockdown times, where I just, I feel like I write good lyrics in my depression phases, it's like a last stop thing, where I just sit down and feel like um, I need to write out those thoughts that helps me with depression most of the times, also fitness, but when you're sick, you can't really do fitness so it was just watching tv shows at that time playing video games and uh writing about my depression yeah but god the radiator in my room just killed me through whole out the whole lockdown it was so goddamn loud i don't know if it's gonna be better this winter i'm just trying to leave it silence don't turning, not turning the radiator up and working with the Eye of Sauron I bought myself with the tower, the heater tower. Wait a second, I'm going to show it. <laughs> that baby right here, which is the Eye of Sauron.
that I used in most of my videos. The Eye of Sauron in the back. But yeah. Look at the boat. Song about my own personal depression in that time. Because I got sick while I'm trying to put in work for my music and my songs. Which is difficult in its own right. Because I'm not that happy with my own voice. Which has gotten better. I've gotten more used to it. YouTube helped a lot. Especially a lot of talking. Strengthened my voice. Which is a good thing. It's a good thing. Mm. And uh, the more experience I get with mixing and mastering. The better my songs will get in the future. The next problem is always self-marketing. And I put like... Five to six hours more, maybe even eight hours into self-marketing. Now I get the boat, put some money in for some YouTube ads, and put some money into TikTok ads or oh, not TikTok ads, self-advertising. Werben. That's a feature for most platforms. Which for a lot of platforms, it's probably just bots giving you followers and likes. Or try Tumblr ads, which just Get, got me no results at all. Yeah, I put some faith into marketing this song. But uh, every time I listen back on it, especially on bad headphones or without headphones, since I'm mostly headphone master, those songs sound naturally better with headphones. Those headphones are good headphones. They're my normal gaming headphones, which are more so... I guess lo-fi headphones which are good for music and those are my mastering headphones 215 euros 100 euros so yeah three no second lockdown phase so two years in the making was this song i've done some song talk videos for other songs not all of them i'm probably gonna push more german songs out in the future on one, ah, god damn it, I bite myself into to, I bit myself into my own tongue. I'm not bleeding right. God damn it, ah, cool, cool stuff. One English song which is pretty similar to Noah Get the Boat. I might even try to market that song more. I don't know. Brrr. I don't know. You don't really get feedback that helps you with music. People are either gonna click away or just slightly vibe with it if you like. But the thing with YouTube is you maybe get one comment per thousand views or one comment per 500 views. And music is so deep and personal that you are uh, get your ego killed immediately if it's not getting any views at all. And it's pretty hard to get recommended by youtube for music getting on the recommended page for music is pretty impossible since there's getting so much music pushed out that it's just not a real thing of gaming it's more so of a real thing with fitness i got some small success with my k-pop videos well i got uh, 3000 views on two k-pop videos and that's a lot for me but yeah Everybody is doing YouTube, everybody is doing TikTok. A lot of people are putting money into getting ads, especially on TikTok. You can't really blow up naturally anymore because every website gives you a feature to put money into adding ads and uh, putting yourself on that recommended list, on that ad list. So there's so many people buying themselves ads that the content that you naturally get is filled up with ads anyways <sighs> yeah yeah pretty hard to blow up especially if you lose faith immediately into your own work which of course it's an amateur song so it's not as good as actual music getting put out on the radio and it's probably too ah <sighs> Too uh, much of a rap song with critical topics to even get pushed out on the radio. I haven't tried that yet. I can see if that actually is something that would happen. But I probably will 
The thing I actually wanted with this song is put it on the Reddit page nor get the boat, but I'm kinda too afraid and too scared of doing that. Which is a weird thing in its own right, that was the marketing plan for that song. And then I was like, mm, they're gonna roast me. I can't, I can't put that on that page. They're gonna ban me and roast me immediately, which is something that happens pretty quick. Uh, I did an Obi-Wan vs. Carcastis rap battle and tried to put that on the Star Wars subreddit, the 2 million views Star Wars, sub, Star Wars uh, subreddit, which on the one side I got immediately like 10 to 15 upvotes. So apparently it didn't do that bad, but then a mod came around and was like, oh no, I don't want that content here and banned me from the subreddit. Even though this video and song was a lot of work and a lot of edits, a lot of memes, so it definitely has its own claim to be on there. Just one mod of thought, no, don't want it, don't like it. Just delete him from posting and marketing himself there. <laughs> yeah, self-marketing is shitty. Gets the mood down immediately in the faith in your own work. Which is... There are a lot of dump sites on Reddit where you can put your songs in which get you no views at all. And then there are a lot of sites where you could put your songs in which has the connection. Like Noah get the boat to subreddit which you did content for. But you probably get banned on them immediately so that's also not a solution. So brr, marketing is hard. Damn marketing is hard. I hate it. So, um, yeah, I might do some Noah Get The Boat content in the future too again. Depends on which mood I am in. The problem is with those, it takes a lot of editing, video editing, censoring. And right now there's a lot of war and Israel-Iran content on there that's too political for my liking. So, mm. Ah, let's see what mood I am in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get the boat. Hmm. I don't know. This is a long video, definitely. I'm not gonna edit too much about this one. I'm probably gonna throw my... No, I get the boat. The beat. I made a beat. Just the instrumentals for that song. Gonna throw that in the background. Also. Oh. Yeah, did I forget anything? Anything I wanted to talk about? I definitely did put also a lot of brain power into video editing the first minute or so to the first review. review uh, was pretty cool, I feel like video editing wise worked out pretty greatly. So, if you for some reason haven't seen or heard that song, listen to it if you don't like the song just watch through the video editing that went pretty good too pretty well done i feel like for myself or with my own video editing skills keep ups are in there some cool scenes are in there yeah 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 okay let's just end it i hope you enjoyed also the call of duty content in the back Almost 20 minutes so I can throw in a lot of stuff there. Peace out. Peace out.